Thank you guys so much for 13,000 views, oh my goodness, and 106 likes, 334 dislikes, thank you so much guys, I really appreciate the support on our first video, and 43 subscribers, that's insane, but I don't know if you guys know this, but the day we uploaded, June 16th, it was actually opposite day, so we actually got 334 likes, 106 dislikes, boom, skadoosh, get the boom boom boy. That's what I'm talking about. So yeah, thank you guys so much for the support. Yo! What's up everybody? Hopefully everyone is having a great time. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and definitely turn on post notifications. Yeah! Today's video is gonna be lit, so get ready. Let's freaking go. Yo, 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 what is up? Guys, welcome to the new video. Sorry we haven't been posting a lot, but this is about to be fire. Alright guys, so in today's video, we're doing top 10 best anime. You heard me correctly. Top 10 best anime. Me and my boy Vanya, we be, we be interchanging thoughts and we found the best anime. I don't think y'all are ready, so smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and let's get into the video. My eyes deceiving me! What in God's name am I looking at? This is unacceptable, guys! Oh my god, 98.6% of y'all are not subscribed. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, so we can grow our channel. Here we go, list starts now, number 10. Number 10, we have Pokemon. Pokemon is a very awesome anime. It was actually the first anime I watched when I was 3 years old. Pokemon is very underrated. It's, it's just great anime. You have Ash Ketchum, he's this very cool protagonist, who, he's very cheerful, it's very cool. What I love about this series is how beautiful the Pokemon are. You have very cool legendaries like Arceus, Reshiram, Zekrom, and just saying, Ash Ketchum is literally one of the best protagonists. He has great character development. At the end of the series, he's still 12 years old, and it's very cool. But this anime will always have a... just... it's always gonna be in my heart. It's very beautiful. And like Team Rocket are one of the best antagonist groups of all time. Like you cannot tell me Jesse is really cool. Jesse, James, now that's right. But yeah, Pokemon is coming up at number 10. Very great anime. Hey guys, Jack here to explain our number 9. Y'all might be like, bruh, why are these guys putting Dragon Ball heroes? At number 9. And not like Dragon Ball Z. Man, shut up. Dragon Ball Super Heroes. So good. I, it's an actual masterpiece. Like, everybody's Super Saiyan God. Like, Dragon Ball Z is, like, trash in that way. Because, like, I mean, like, the story's fine. Like, But the character development in Dragon Ball Super Heroes is so, so, like, a masterpiece. Like, because everyone's Super Saiyan God. Yeah, another reason I like this is because... So, the characters are so much stronger, so it actually shows the true potential of what Goku and his friends can do. Yeah. And then, also, the animation is so much better than Z. Like, what were they thinking when they were making Z? Like, the animation's so bad. Like, how'd they make this one so good and Z so bad? Like, come on, guys. That's not cool. But yeah, I'm putting uh, Super Dragon Ball Heroes at number 9. Number 8, we have Boku no Hero Academia. This anime is very good. It's about this character named Deku who is born with no quirk and he has no friends. I can really relate to him, he's just a beautiful character and I have no friends myself so I can really relate to Deku, he's a beautiful written character. But this, this anime takes place in, you know, this high school, it's by Deku and it's very cool. The, 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 the things I like a lot about this anime are the characters, they're all beautiful. And one of the greatest things about this anime is how powerful Deku is. Literally, he's omnipotent. He will one-shot anyone, he will destroy Saitama, he will destroy Goku, he will destroy anyone, you name it. He is omnipotent, he is the strongest anime character in the whole universe, so yeah. Another great part about My Hero Academia is the ships. The ships are really cute, I mean it, like you got Deku, ship with Bakugo, Todoroki, 
with uh, with Uyraka and yeah, ships are a very nice bonus, very cute, big, there's a lot of big hot girls, like Uraraka, very thick, nice booty, and yeah, ships are very cool, but last but not least, there's a lot of very important lessons you can learn from My Hero Academia. There's really important lessons such as always believe in yourself. And it doesn't matter where you come from as long as you put in the hard work. For example, Deku had no quirk, but he put in the hard work. Look at him now. He's literally one he's the strongest anime character and Deku's very inspirational. If you've not checked My Hero Academia, what are you doing with your life? Check it now. Very underrated. But yeah, moving on to number seven. All right, here at number seven, we have Yuri on Ice. Yuri on Ice is super good. I love it so much. Like, being a raging homosexual as I am, like, I don't know, the kissing scene, so sexy. Like, and, okay, I gotta admit, my favorite part, my favorite part has to be whenever Yuri and Victor kiss. Oh, my God. Okay, whatever. But, yeah, everything about it, masterpiece. I bet all of y'all can agree with me on this. It's, it's pretty high on this list. Um, because we have a ton of good anime above it, but I really do like this anime. The only thing I don't like is that, uh, how short it was. I really wish, uh, like, we could, like, have another season, but, you know, it is what it is. I cried, like, four or five times in it, so, yeah. That's gonna be number seven now, moving on to number six. Number six, we have Darling in the Franks. This anime is it's just it's so beautiful. Uh, Zero is literally one of the best anime waifus of all time. She is so good. Like oh my god, her beauty is so big and and like she's just beautiful. Like oh, oh look at that kiss. Oh. <laughs> like just she's just the hottest anime way feel basically. And I another great thing about this anime is the music. The music is very really cool. Yeah, hope, yeah. It's got this nice twist to it. It's a noise. Yeah. Just very nice sound to the anime. You should really give this anime a try. It's very cool. Uh, the, the main character Zero is very cool. Uh, and yeah, Yoko is literally sleeping on this anime. It's it's just great. So make sure to check it out. And yeah, moving on to number five. Okay, so I'm gonna put Beyblade at number five because only because of the sick fighting scenes and the intro. Oh my god, the intro is so good. And the fighting scenes like like go um biggest let it rip So good, oh my god. And the intro is like the Beyblade let it rip so good. And the main character is dope. He has the green hair. I know. He's swagging. He's just... He's... It's literally a drip fest. Like, I can't... I can't explain how much I love this anime. It's, uh... It's, t like, pretty much tied with the, the one below it. But you'll see the next one. Why we love it so much. Alright, moving on to number four. Number four. We have Beastars. This anime is really cool. The main character, Lagoshi, is a straight day day so I can really relate to him. He's a really cool furry. I'm actually a furry myself, and he's, he's just a very cool main character. He's very unique. He's not your typical shonen protagonist who's like, Eh, I like food. I like food. I have spiky hair. I stupid. I stupid. In fact, Lagoshi, he pulls all the rabbit heels, and he's really cool. As you can see in the footage, look at this rabbit. This rabbit's literally about to touch his bean, but yeah. Uh, Beastars is very underrated. I'd easily rate this on the higher list if the animation was slightly better. But the, what I enjoy the most about this anime is the plot. The, there's so many twists and turns. Like, you don't know who's good or who's bad. It's great. So, make sure you give this anime a try. And for number three, we have... Kame <laughs> <laughs> the Kamega Kill is this is a funny ace anime man, let me tell you. Everyone dies. Like it's not funny to you? Like I find it hilarious. This anime is just it's hilarious. If you want to die and literally just lay your ace off, 
please give a game make a kill a try. This anime is just, it's true comedy. If you're trying to laugh because you're having a bad day, you're depressed, check this anime out. This is the right one for you. I love Game Kikyo. The character development rate is pretty great, but you know everyone <laughs> dies. But you know I was rooting for the villains the whole time, and it was great. The action's beautiful. The waifus are you know pretty good. Kami, like, Kami is really hot, but it's anime is pretty good. Um, you know, if if you not watch it, please give it a try. It's very funny. So yeah, moving on to number two. This was a tough one to put on number two, but it had to be done. Sword Art Online is nothing less than a literal masterpiece. The music, the characters, the romance, the plot, the character development of Kirito. God damn, every time I think about it, puts a smile on my face. Oh, how could I forget? Open one is so good. And yeah, Kirito and Asuna is so hot. Asuna is so hot. Oh my god. And yeah, SAO is just an all around just beauty. Just all around beautiful anime. I, I, I don't know. I've seen it six, seven times. So good. You should definitely check it out. Now, moving on to some honorable mentions. And then... You'll see who takes the number one spot. For a first honorable mention, we have Boku no Pico. This anime is so heat. Uh, if people tell you it's bad, it's really not. It's it's so good. Do not listen to them. What I really like about this anime is how unique it is compared to other animes. It's very unique in its own way. Like for example, Tamatsu is he likes underage girls, which is really cool. He goes after his girl named Pico, he's basically a pedophile, which is funny as hell, man, that's very cool. I can really relate to this myself, because I'm a pedophile too, I'm a predator, I go after you little girls, yeah! But, yeah, Boku no Pico, it's a very cool anime, and I, the main character is just, he's written so well, like, who does not like Tomotsu, very cool. And Pico, mwah, chef's kiss, very cute waifu very good little girl so yeah if people tell you this anime is trash it's not it's literal heat it's great so please give it a try welcome to Pico heat moving on to the next honorable mention let's go all right for our second honorable mention we have Saze-san yeah man this just uh holds a special place in my heart just like Pokemon uh I remember like when I was young I would go see it uh I would just watch it every Saturday uh, with my family back in 68. Yeah, how time flies. Um, I also love how many episodes there are. Like, I can I, I can watch this uh, and not get bored. Like, this is such an entertaining anime. Like, I love, like, the, the family feud aspect. I love everything about it. It's just such an anime. And, uh, yeah, like, it's about, like, 9,000 episodes, but... Uh, like, I'm just, like, built different. I can finish it in a few days, so. Yeah, I've seen it six, seven times. Yeah. I'm literally God. I don't know if y'all know this or not, but I'm literally God. So, alright, on to our next honorable mention. For the last honorable mention, we have Spider-Man 3. This anime is beautiful. I really like that in perspective. Uh, basically what this anime is about is Mr. Dikovic. He wants his rent, but Peter says, I'm gonna put some dirt in the eye! But he literally never pays his rent. And Peter is a little PSA man, like, he doesn't pay his rent. Like, look at Mr. Dikovic, he's mad. Rent, rent, give me rent, give me rent. Mr. Dikovic is really mad, and he's had enough of Peter's shit, man. He needs the rent. But no, Peter say, I'm gonna put some dirt in the eye. And you'll get your rent when you fix this damn door! Look at Peter, he's crying like a little baby. Peter, it's MJ. Just please open up. I just, I really like the perspective about this anime. It's very cool. Look at this. Masterpiece. Where's my money? Very beautiful. So, I love this anime so much. Because of how, like, like, I, I kind of like a serious anime. And this really, like, puts me in a serious mood. Yeah, I actually kind of like it, but... Uh, I'm actually also a ballet dancer, so I can really relate to these dancing scenes. And 
this part right here. Oh my god, he really hit me that. Oh my, oh my god. Another reason why I love this so much is this scene right here. Right where he punches MJ, I can I can relate to that like on a spiritual level almost. Because I'm, uh, yeah, I have a wife and four kids, but I'm really abusive to my wife. And this is just like... This just, like, I can relate to it so much, so I just love this scene so much. Yeah, Spider-Man 3, such an amazing anime. Uh, very serious, too. I like the serious aspect of it. I also like the game aspect of it. So, yeah, it actually, please check it out. Uh, it sh I think it should have made the list, honestly, but it's whatever. All right, now for number one. Alright, coming in at number one! If y'all been watching us for a long time, you should know this. It's Fairy Tail! I the plot. Th let me tell y'all, the plot in this show is so good. I mean, okay, so the girls in the show, I mean, they're okay. It, it's nothing like Boku no Pico. Pico's so, so hot. I, I, don't even get me into it. I'm getting carried away. Alright, so, yeah, the plot in this show is amazing. And I just love, uh, like, everything about the friendship aspect. Like, ah, gosh, don't even get me started. But, yeah. Now, passing it on to Vanya to tell you about how much he loves it. I absolutely love Fairy Tail. This anime is literally a part of my life. It's, what I really love about this anime is how sad it is and how serious it is. It's by this man named Notsu Dragonil. Very, very cool main, ca main character, but... He's he's a very cool dude, and the the best part about this anime is the power of friendship. It, it's the, oh, it is bully, but the power. Oh, where's the steady? Oh, but uh, the power of friendship is way too beautiful. Like, I can't really relate because I have no friends. <laughs> but yeah, the power of friendship always makes me cry. I'm literally dying right now because. The power of friendship this anime is beautiful. If you hate friendship, you'll never lose. Literally, if you believe in yourself and your friends believe in you, you always win. Fairy Tail will always be my number one favorite anime. It's so beautiful. If you have not watched Fairy Tail, what are you doing? You're stupid. Go watch it right now. Immediately. Watch it for the beautiful plot in the power of friendship. So. Da 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 da